When making this magic disc animation, I took some inspiration from the prints in the Edo in Colour exhibition at the Chester Beatty. When choosing what you would like to animate, try to pick something that has a nice looped movement. Such as a spinning wheel, an animal walking, or maybe a person drinking tea. cardboard. I'm using one that is about A4 sized and the card from a cereal box is a good thickness to use. And next take a compass and draw a circle roughly 20 centimeters in diameter or if you don't have a compass you could use a large bowl to draw out your circle. Next taking your ruler divide your circle into eight equal segments. Now we're going to draw our outline for our slits that we're going to cut out of the circle. Make a rectangle about two and a half centimeters long by about half a centimeter wide, like so. scissors cut out each of these slits from the cardboard. You should be left with something that looks like this. So next take your sheet of white A4 paper and place your cardboard on top of it. Then using your pencil outline the shape of your cardboard onto the paper. that cut the circle into the eight equal segments. Each of these segments are going to be one frame of your animation. This is where each of the frames of your animation is going to go. You may want to take a few minutes to sketch out what your frames are going to look like and what your object which is moving is going to look like in each of the frames. Once you have a good idea of what each of your frames are going to look like, you can begin drawing them on your paper template. Start off with drawing your piece at the two opposite ends of its motion. For instance, I'm using an umbrella, so my first frame is going to be the umbrella fully open, and my last frame is going to be directly opposite that segment, and it will be the umbrella fully closed. slightly opening and slightly closing. As you will see, these frames mirror each other on either side of the disc. This creates a simple looped animation illusion. Don't forget to add a little bit of colour with markers or colouring pencils. happy with your drawings, it's time to cut the circle out. Don't forget to also cut the slits that you've drawn in each segment of the circle. You should be left with a shape that looks like this. Next, take your glue stick and stick your paper down to your cardboard. When your glue is dry, take a thumbtack and press it in the centre through your paper and card. Then flip your disc over and take either a wooden pencil, a chopstick or a pencil with an eraser on the top and press your thumbtack into the eraser. Being careful of your fingers. Can 
spin freely. Then it's time to start testing it out in front of a mirror. In front of a mirror, look through one of the slits. Focus on the top illustration on your disc. You should now see your animation come to life.